DTLR Radio. All right, DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle, yo. Man, we got a special guest in the building, man. I, I can't wait. I couldn't wait for this. Spud McKenzie, what up, man? What's going on, man? How you feeling, brother? I'm blessed. I can't complain. Never can call it. Damn. It's been it's been some years, brother. Uh, it has. <laughs> so, before we even get into the interview, just letting you know, we are family-friendly. So It's radio-friendly. We're going to watch out for our, our language. But, yo, um, it has been a long time. Yeah, it's been a very long time. Celebrity videographer, celebrity photographer, creative director. Yeah. Um, what other hats do you wear? Oh, or did I hit man. the nail on the casket? You, you, you said it all. You did it for me, brother. All right. Appreciate um, it. Speaking of that, let's, let me know the difference between this creative director and just a videographer. Because a lot of people record video and they say they're creative director, but their videos aren't really creative. I look at it as you got to be a visionary. You mm -hmm. know? A lot of these people, you know, they go out here and they just pick up a camera and just record the, the moment. But, like, you got to endure it. You got to see stuff that other people don't see. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a creative director or a person that's just a, a visual artist can see more than that. You know, you, you, you got to go above and beyond, not to give them the typical. And mm -hmm. that's why I feel like a lot of people are lacking that. And I feel like they can find that, that niche. They just, you know, just open their eyes up a little bit more. Now, you are in a um, creative market right now. You're in ATL. Yes. But you're from Baltimore. Definitely. Hometown. How much does that play a part? What, what role does that play in your creativeness, in your creative side when you're recording? Um, I see a lot of different things. Uh, everything is compelled differently com compared to having the stuff from back home to Atlanta. Like, you see things differently. You got mm -hmm. different platforms. You got different artists. You know, it plays out much better, but honestly, nothing different than what we got coming home, you know? Right. So let's let's take a step back. You used to dance. Yeah. You used to be at a yeah. lot of parties. Yeah, growing up. What made you pick up the camera in the first place? You know, it's crazy. When I first started dancing... I picked up a camera, and it was at my friend's kid house. Um, wow. Kid from Explicit. i never forget this. You know, we were um, 14. This is when I went to Randall's time at the time. Mm -hmm. um, I had friends like Winky. It was a good friend of mine. So we grew up together. We uh, went in the basement. We all started dancing, and I just pulled the camera out. I was like, you know, why not show the world? And um, they went on MySpace, and it, to be honest with you, went viral. To this very day, I could still pull it up, and it'll show the world, you know, why we started. And from there on, it's just been a thing for me. So I didn't during those times. I don't. I don't know if I if I noticed it or not. But you wasn't the Spud McKenzie that you are now. Nah. What's the difference? What was this, the support? Did people believe in you back in the day? Was back, it? back then I had support. I had my friends. I had my circle. Um, but it wasn't the same. <laughs> what? What? I just want to know what, where did this I, I this leap come from? Because now everybody sees Spud work and it's like, sheesh, that's different. And I, I guess it was growth, in, in in the long strand. I don't think it was anything different though. I mean, honestly, it's, it's all the same. What's, what's your vision for yourself as a, I guess we can call you an artist because you, you are an artist. Mm -hmm. What's your vision as, a, as an artist? My vision? What do you want out of this? I, I just want to help others, bro. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want others to grow with me. You know, I want others to just believe in itself. It's, it's, anybody can do it. You know, that's, that's all true. I really want out of it. In the long run, though. But how, how are we doing that now, though? We support and we giving back. You know, we, we grabbing down, we getting the ladder. We're going to pull them up with us. You feel me? That's how Lift I as you climb, you got to. I have to. That's my goal initially. You know, I know we don't have a lot of support, and um, that's the problem with our city, but I want to change that. A lot of people don't support. And speaking of support, if you could give me three people that you support right now, no matter what they're doing, give me their names. I'm supporting a good family man, Tate Cobain. Okay, Tate, from oh, Baltimore. Of course, of course. My boy, Ben Hunter Izzy. Mm -hmm, Baltimore I'm always as well. in this quarter no matter what, and you know that. And of course, my man, J.L. Of That's course, why I'm here. I appreciate that. Um, speaking of support, when we when we get into the work side of uh, just being any type of artist, a lot of people get caught up in the money, mm. but they don't understand that sometimes you got to do things for the love to get in places that's going to get you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are so money driven that they forget that they got to put in the work first. How has it been for you? So you're gonna have to put the hard work in. That's how you get longevity in this. Money ain't always everything, man. Right? It's always about love, genuine, being open to it. So when when did you know that? I can't just do things for support anymore. I got to charge, and this is my price. When I found my worth, <laughs> how do you know that though? Because I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of still in that segment where, as though I host a lot of events, and sometimes it's like, man, I don't want to take this because I need a bag, but it's like it might be a great opportunity. How do you know the difference from opportunity to I need that check? Well, it kind of makes sense on itself. When you know you're doing more than you're supposed to, mm -hmm. it makes sense. And they know they got to start paying you at that point. Mm -hmm. you know, they just tell you, like, well, I'm steady at that. I'm just give you this, bro. But can you show me some love? But then you also, you know, you illustrate when to give them everything and when not to give them everything. You just break it down for them. It's simple. It's all, it's all, all energy. 
Yo, y'all here, man. We um we here with Spud McKenzie, man. If you don't know, check him out on Instagram. That's Spuds McKenzie. And we're gonna come back. We got some more questions to ask him, man. He got some things to tell us. It's DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle. DTLR Radio. All right, DTLR Radio, your fashion, your lifestyle. That was Kodak Black Rolling Peace. Yo, we still here with celebrity videographer, celebrity photographer, creative director, all that. Spud McKenzie, what up? Yo, what's going on? What's going on? How you feeling? I'm all right, man. So uh, let's get into, you said you got something on the table right now. Yeah, man. I'm uh, I'm working with Generation Now. This is uh, DJ Dramas, Don Cannings, and uh, Lake, Sh- Lake Show. That's my good friend right there. Mm-hmm. Bless you, Lake. Um, Pretty much it's their label. You know, we got people like Lil Uzi. Word. We got Lil James. We got Columinati, Jack Harlow. We actually got one from home, LaQuinn. LaQuinn is dope. Yeah, from that's the family. Area. Yep. Uh-huh. He's on the generation now. We also got Scheme on, you know, in Cali. So they, they brought you on they as their me on. videographer? They me, yes, director, creator. I'll be doing all of their visuals. That's dope, man. It. So it, it will be a blessing to actually just be a part of that. Like, that's dope. And, and it's exciting. I, I can imagine, man. Coming from Baltimore, the city is so small. Yeah. Things like that, we, we appreciate it more. For sure, for sure. And um, speaking of coming from Baltimore, you want to bring artists together because a lot of them are doing their own thing. Yeah, a lot of these artists are um, segregated. Mm-hmm. And I don't want that. I want everybody to come together because we have a voice, y'all. Like, we do. Baltimore artists, I'm trying to tell y'all. I, I love all y'all. But I really want everybody to start coming together, y'all. Beaches, whatever, parties, shows, hosting, just make it make, it make sense. Like, y'all have a platform here. Use it. And it makes sense that you say that because you were in ATL. Yeah. ATL. And um, a lot of times... Artists from Baltimore say Baltimore need to be more like Atlanta. Exactly. And come together. Exactly. But we've been saying that for years. For sure. So how, how can we do that? Because lately I've been seeing more collabs. I've been seeing more support. Egos have been put aside, mm-hmm. you know, and I've been saying the creative creation just going down. Like, it's, it's lit right now. But I wanted to keep it going. Right. Like, I want y'all to be on 10. Same energy y'all do when y'all be on Instagram flexing. Do the same <laughs> thing when y'all rap and come together. Keep that same energy. Same energy. I need that all the time. So I'm, I'm just trying to figure out trying to get in your mind mm-hmm. and see what are the things that we can do to come together if if you had to call it if you I, had to come here and be that creative director what would you do if i had to call it i would do a concert we do that though y'all do that but y'all don't y'all don't include everybody y'all gotta go in from the grit up where the mainstream indie and the cut you gotta get everybody involved because People have an issue with feeling like they're not always involved. You know, they feel left out. That's true. And when you have these concerts, you have, I'm just saying, you have a lot of people where it's just the same eight people. Mm-hmm. Let's include more indie artists. Let's get some more people in there so they can feel comfortable with working with other artists. That's true. Now, I'm going to challenge you as an artist sure. and just as a person um, because you're such a dope videographer and um, a lot of videographers look up to you. Mm. How many other videographers are you working with personally? Personally, I'm working with Riley Robbins. I'm okay. working with Mecca. Okay. We just recently did a Ric Flair video together. Okay. So that was and are, are these guys that have more buzz than you? Or are yes. You, they're they're what, out so, of here. So who are some of the guys that you're working with that don't have as much as buzz as you? That you're actually helping up? My own boy KB, love the culture. I'm, he don't have as much buzz? KB is dope. The KB is dope as fuck. I'm talking about, in, excuse me. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse us, I'm sorry. I'm speaking in a sense But that's of, true, that's that expression, that energy, is that's how dope he is. So, <laughs> so we forgive you. I'm saying in the sense of where I'm, I'm looking at we're in the same, you know, path. Okay, that's how I'm looking. All at. right, all right. So you actually are doing the steps to connect the dots on your end. Yes. So now you want your city to do the same thing. Exactly. All right. So um, because we in so many different states, we in twelve plus Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. DTLR Radio that is, and we're heavy in Atlanta. Just give the people a synopsis of how it was growing up in Baltimore from your from your perspective. Okay, so uh, growing to Baltimore is a different segment now. Mm. It's it's crazy. Definitely. Um, growing up for me, it wasn't as as bad. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's not. It wasn't as bad for me. Growing up in Baltimore, we didn't have support for sure. We all were in the same place. Um, we had your typical crimes. You know, you had your typical fights. You know, but for our stance, it was a party time for us. Mm-hmm. You know, we had parties growing up. You know, it was all about just showing out, and having fun. Um, I also would say, you know, people wasn't as angry. We had love here at once upon a time. That's true. It, it was a we had love. I mean, I know you understand. That's so true. That's true. I feel like you know back then it was it was lit. It was a good place to be growing up back then. But do you think we had love because we were so young, and now that we are old enough to see it, and now we're in our light and we're shining, now we see so much of the hate because we're doing our thing. I guess when we was young, I don't think we seen it though. We didn't probably see it as much, right? But I feel like there's no love at all here, and we gotta change that. 
What I will say, guys, um, is focus on the love. Because the more times we focus on things, we bring that energy about. And we don't want to bring that into our lives. So let's focus on the good things. Yeah, always. You're dope. Everything else don't even matter because you're dope. And that's that's just true. Uh, I definitely appreciate you for coming out, man. I appreciate you. Um, let's, but because it's music, we, you know, radio. What are you listening to right now? What's, what's in your iPod? On my iPod? Yeah, what's in your uh, phone? Yeah. What you listening to? What's, what's the first song that pop up? When you go into it, uh, when I usually keep it on, I use listen to Selection. Selection Radio is my thing. Selection Radio, yeah, well, we gotta get DTL already on. I mean, there, of course, man. definitely, definitely. We gotta get get it on there. Let me go ahead and just add it right now. Yeah. But, um, what, what um what, what song is on there though? Like what what song is on your first the first on your playlist? You know it's funny you say that right now. It's Detronada. <laughs> Detronada. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Baltimore, yo. Stand up, man. Yeah, bro. Listen, man. We're gonna um we're gonna keep the show going, man. Let's get into some more music. Is that was Spud McKenzie? Make sure y'all check him out. Let them know where they can follow you at and everything. Oh, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Spud McKenzie. That's S P U D D S McKenzie M C K E N Z I E. Same handles for Twitter and Tumblr. And y'all heard it, man. Let's get into this. Cardi B, Bartier, Cardi. It's DTLR Radio. Your fashion, your lifestyle. We are.